with the Phantom Street Artist. It is a art gallery uh, showing here with a wrestling tournament. Now, you talk a lot about wrestling and art. Talk a little bit about why it makes sense to bring the two of them together here during the World Cup week. Well, it's, it's a fascinating, intriguing subject, Gary. The, the bridge is the metaphor between making connections or, or hermetic value between the two. Art has a performance value. Wrestling has a performance value. There's a staging. There is the arena. And there is the, the kind of the interaction in, in, in battling contestations of forms. And, and it complements, it has a complementary interest as well, Gary. So tell us a little bit about your work. I mean, there's a variety of art forms. You don't have one specific style, but I don't. talk to me about what, what you're putting together here to show. Well, I'm really highly inspired by, by wrestling and how two people go at it in terms of creating a, a hybrid of many different possibilities of forms. And it's the same thing I do with my work where I actually create a, a staging of, of, uh, of different types of cast, self-cast characters, and I, I essentially make characters of, of these roles. So, you take a lot of ph photography too, and we have some of your artwork, some photography you have. I mean, right up here we've got a bunch of great wrestling shots. Jake Garner, right? Jordan Burroughs, we have the... Uh photography and art form because obviously you do a lot of art uh, painting and drawings and things like that well photography is chronically an event and if you really look at my work my work is focused on event staging and arena and a performance and this is what I get from wrestling wrestling is just an incredible great battle between a battle of forms and it's essentially what I do with my work as well in, in terms of developing my aesthetic and how did this get together I know Johnny Ruggi Ruggiano had a lot to do with We've been talking about this for years. We really wanted to bring art to, like my uh, my trophy, which is given out to the best wrestlers in the state of California every year to honor Dave Schultz, which is the Dave Schultz Memorial Trophy Champion Champions. The first recipient, Jake Harden, was a gold medalist. So right, you got a picture of him right there, and he got he got your art trophy for winning of an outstanding wrestler in California, yep. right? Yep, and some people say it's one of the most beautiful trophies. I was very honored and very inspired by Dave Schultz, and I was actually had the opportunity to spend many years knowing him. I knew him since the 70s. And so you're going to get a chance to shoot some wrestling this week after showing some of your art to wrestlers. It is. I mean, it's been a long time since we first wrestled back in Section 11. Yeah. So think about it. If I came to L.A. and I asked people from the art scene about, you know, about you, they would know your work, wouldn't they? You've been doing this for a while. I actually was doing it when I was training in wrestling. I was actually part of my training, my kind of uh, guerrilla initiative. So I just combined wrestling, running uh, telephone poles, and, and doing tagging. And I actually had the opportunity to do Rage Against the Machine and do their videos, and work was traveling around. But I still give homage, and I still have great praise and great respect for the wrestlers like John Smith, Louis Gianni, uh, the, the great wrestlers, the Gadsons. Uh, it's just a great community of people and, and have done great people, great things in, in, our, uh, in, in the world of arts. I mean, there's many, many great artists that are actually involved. Like as we say, uh, Gail Sanderson is, a, is, is a, an artist. Is yeah. an artist. And he's an artist in more than one way, right? Oh, so talk, talk to me about this guy. I've seen him in your work. You know? It looks a little bit, yeah, yeah, right there. Looks a little bit like a TV uh, character from commercials. Well, I'm very much interested in appropriation. I love the idea of always mastering or authoring narratives, and I, I, I do it as a parody, as a satire. I'm sort of a social satirist. Social satirist. Yeah. But I mean, a lot of your work has some serious yeah, things. I mean, somebody else is America, right? Yeah. yeah I exactly. mean, what's the statement there? That's... Well, I think it's kind of interesting. I did this in 1999, and so uh, hermetic value and, and meaning comes becomes unraveled in, in time. I mean, there's a great dissension going on between a divisiveness in, in bipartisan politics. So 
this has a lot of value and can really be directed to, to that particular issue. So is this fun for you to get some wrestling friends together and oh, show your work? Always. always. Wrestling's always been a great community to develop and grow together. And, you know, I, I wouldn't have it any other way. It's a really great community. It's something I really value and praise. Would you guys do this again or in other locations? I think we're going to keep doing it. Yeah. It's going to be called the World Cup Art Festival. Fantastic. And, and also, we got to say Nancy Ostrowski out there on the East Coast. Right. She's a great artist. Her uh, companion, Paul Wittemann. Uh, there's just so many great things going on. We even have the Welch, who's a great author. He's a great writer. Uh, Kale Sanderson. There's just so, so this, many. So this is rich. We can add to this. I wouldn't expect it any. I think artists and wrestlers complement each other through, through a complimentary form. Oh, fantastic. Great job here Thank at the Phantom Street Artist. We know him as Joey Krebs, in case you guys wanted to look him up another way. But, you know, obviously this is your artwork, and, and we're really proud to share it with the wrestling community. Thank you. It's Very been good. an honor.